So in this video, I'm gonna go over the two main things that'll cause weak stems, how we can optimize our garden and meet those two problems, turn them into ways that we can give our plants more than what they need and optimize our tower garden. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that leads to weak stems and the most significant factor is actually lighting. This is why I tell people not to germinate their seeds directly in their tower garden, but instead to have like a germination station or a table or something where you can have light directly above them. Because when you're trying to germinate your seeds right on the side of a tower garden, using the tower garden lights maybe, that lighting is great for, uh, for plants that are a little bit older, but for seedlings, they're gonna stretch and they're gonna run towards that light. So what we need to do is optimize our lighting using one of these. This is a light meter. They're fairly inexpensive. You can pick them up. Uh, they're on sale right now. I'll put a link in the description box below. It's under 20 bucks. This is for measuring the light intensity or the lumens. They're really easy to use. Uh, all you have to do is set it exactly where you want to take the measurement with the white dome facing the light. And then you just hit hold to hold the screen so that you can pull it away from the light and see the reading. And that's going to tell you uh, exactly how many lumens the light is putting out. Now when we're germinating our seeds, we want the luminosity to be about, I've noticed the best, the, the best seedlings come out for me at about 5,500 to 6,500 lumens, at 6,500 lumens. The key here is to not, well, now the key to a successful, strong, robust, more bushy, compact plant that's ready to be planted into a tower garden is actually to use a more blue light. This is because blue light waves, they make a plant bushier and more compact. Um, they, they encourage leafy growth rather than vertical growth, which is exactly what we want. So this is, this is the light that I use in my setup. I can adjust this and move it up or down. This is just a 50 watt adjustable LED light. And then I have two UVA lights on either side. I like to use UV, but I will say I notice much more of an impact with just blue light in general, or more importantly, not using red light. Because what red light does is it causes stem elongation. Red light encourages plants to grow vertically and grow fast. So if we're giving our plants a lot of red light, which is what like Tower Gardens lights or generally a lot of regular grow lights that are gonna be for flowering plants or throughout their entire stage, they're actually gonna give the, the plant a lot of red light. And in these early, really vulnerable times, we need to try to keep them as small and bushy and focus on, on wider, more thick, robust growth rather than tall and lanky and just get it growing. Uh, so this might take a little more time under the blue light, but if you use your light meter, to make sure you set that luminosity and you have those lights close enough and bright enough to your germinating plants, um, you know, around 5,500 to 6,500 lux, then that's gonna be a really good start for your plants. Whenever I transplant into my tower gardens, I like to wait until the roots are coming through the rock wool cube. If you, if you wait until they're through the rock wool, then they're gonna start to really take advantage of the aeroponic effects of the tower garden, otherwise, you're still better off just setting them some, somewhere horizontally in like a germination station with the proper humidity, um, which I recommend at about 85% at this point, um, where you can really optimize that seedling until the roots are through, and then you can put it in the tower garden and really take advantage of everything the tower garden has to offer. Now, number two, a great way that you can strengthen your plants is just by presenting a gentle breeze. You know, nature, it's a pretty windy place and plants uh, can grow accustomed to their environment and they need a little breeze to make their, their stems grow nice and thick and strong. If you have no breeze, if you have no moving air in your house, other than just like, you know, your HVAC or air conditioning, uh, your plant's not really presented with much of a challenge. And if that in combination with the red light that we just discussed will lead to really, really weak, really, really lanky plants that are likely just gonna grow up and fall straight over. Um, it's not normal for plants to grow out of the tower garden and then start heading straight down and then sometimes make that swoop. They should always be heading straight up and straight out of your tower garden. So if this is something you're experiencing, then try just adding a fan like this 
or uh, you can even add a larger oscillating fan, anything to just add a nice breeze to your tower garden to give those plants a challenge, to give them a reason to grow thicker and stronger. Uh, if you want more information on optimizing your tower garden, I'm really I'm running a crazy good Black Friday sale on all of my guides. I package them all together for a Black Friday bundle deal. It's like 70% off everything. Uh, so head over to HumbleGrowthHydroponics.com to check that out. If you missed the deal and this is after Black Friday, I'm sorry, but definitely check everything else out anyway because you'll get great value out of all of the free guides all of the free garden blueprints um, and the Mastering Your Tower Garden School of Hydroponics and Synthesizing Sunlight guides that I offer over there. So humblegrowthhydroponics.com, make that your resource for everything hydroponics moving forward. I look forward to hearing your comments down below and let's grow together.